I loved it. Why? Gosh, where to start? How familiar were you with the source material? Not very. So there's a lot of a lot of parts that were over my head, a lot of snickering going on that I didn't understand, <laughs> but plenty of great universal themes about, I guess, open-mindedness and tolerance for things that are different. <laughs> some crazy idea that we can all get along if we work together. <laughs> it was very violent. I was surprised by that. I, I'm used to seeing these superheroes, you know, on Saturday mornings as a kid. There was no blood, ever. There was even some foul language, a lot of gunplay, war, suggestion of global annihilation. I got a real charge out of it, but I was still kind of shocked <laughs> to see cartoon characters talking that way. I have read, although I'm not a fan at the same level of people who grew up with DC Comics. I grew up reading Marvel Comics instead. I'm from a younger generation, so I didn't grow up reading the Colonel Rick Flag and the uh, pilots, the Black Hawk pilot stuff. I kept seeing like the key drawings. I kept seeing how they were trying to animate based on Darwin Cook's material, and it. Um, I couldn't lose myself in it at all, and maybe because I had read it, all I was looking for was how do they translate it into a movie. I was very distracted by the editing and the pacing, felt choppy, like they were waiting until the next panel, and that's when this line is mm, supposed to start. Mm -hmm. They pushed the envelope a little bit with some of the violence, some of the, uh, the idea of Wonder Woman helping liberate uh, women in Indochina and including the brutal murder of their oppressors. Uh, I thought really the quality of the make was choppy enough that I couldn't let myself just enjoy it, which was too bad. I had the same complaints that John did. Um, it, it didn't look enough like Darwin Cook for me to be happy with it, and it didn't move well enough to be standard animation. So I was always kind of getting a clutch cargo feeling from it. It's such a good story, and it, it seemed like it, it was getting the some of the highlights, but it didn't have the depth that it had. A lot of things that I felt were just kind of skimmed over the surface, especially in the characterizations and things like that. It didn't do the Dinosaur Island thing in depth. It didn't have some of the ancillary characters that are just kind of off in the, off in the distance. But then the book had, what, how many issues to tell the story? Four or five? And this was 60 minutes. What? What did you think? <laughs> I'm not the intended audience. I'm familiar with some of the source material and I've read it, but I, it just didn't do it for me. I would just rather read it in the page. I, mean, I agree with some of what John and, and Jim said, and that I didn't like some of the voices, or I would just rather sit with it and go as deep into it as I want. I wasn't engaged. I was half, you know, I'd say about a third of the way through it, they lost me. I was thinking about what I'm going to do tomorrow. <laughs> but as someone not familiar with the source material, it lost me in just what Jim was saying about the not going into depth. I just didn't understand why I should give a hoot about any of this. I, thought, I don't resonate with that raw, raw, let's go kick some ass depictions. It and just doesn't do anything for me. I didn't see why I should give a hoot if the center destroyed the whole planet. As someone who doesn't know the material, you just didn't, you just sort of took it on their word that they all knew each other and there was this history, but there was none of, there was, it was not fleshed out at all. So basically if you didn't know it, it was just boring. The 50s sensibility to, in the comic it's so striking because it's unlike everything that's coming out in comics now. The throwback quality of it was fun in the comic. And in this, it just um, didn't really transfer. See Darwin Cook's design ideas, but they weren't animated. They were backgrounds that never moved. Okay, let's wrap it up. One word uh, for the experience. Kind of boring, but pretty. Boring and pretty. Sophie, one word. Shocking, but delightful. <laughs> okay, two words from everybody. Shocking, but delightful. Non-illuminating. Non-illuminating. Good word. Love the book. Love the book. Three <laughs> words. We'll let it go. Uh, disappointing. Better than Saturday morning. Okay. <laughs>